Hello dear learners, I Dr. Nilakshi Arora, Assistant Professor in the Department of Commerce at the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. I welcome you to another module of cost accounting. Today I will be teaching you machine hour rate. Machine hour rate means per hour running cost of a machine. So if you are in industry which is, which is machine driven and you want to know what is the cost of machine if it is being run for an hour we are going to calculate machine hour rate. Machine hour rate is the hourly cost in terms of factory overheads to operate a particular machine. So you, we all know that factory overheads are the indirect material, indirect labor, indirect expenses which are being used in the factory like uh, it can be rent of factory, it can be insurance of machine, it can be power expenses, watchman expenses. So when you add all these expenses you are going to get factory overheads. So machine hour rate is basically calculated using the factory overheads. Machine hour rate can be obtained by dividing factory overheads associated with the machine by the total machine hours of that month or that particular period. We will be discussing this formula later in the slides. Now why do you need machine hour rate? So machine hour rate is basically needed to calculate the recovery rate, rate at which you are going to absorb the factory overheads of the machine while you are going to prepare the cost sheet or while you are going to calculate the different kinds of overheads. When you calc if you remember you would have studied about the departmentalization in the overheads. There also you will be requiring machine hour rate so that you can absorb various overheads. It is basically recovery of overheads adopted in industrial concern where most of the work is driven by machines. Machine, import, machine hour rate plays a very important role children in the industries which are machine driven because basically all the expenses which are being incurred in a factory are related to machine. So you should know which machine is incurring what kind of cost in which machine you are going to use and what is the cost of that respective machine. For computation of machine hour rate as we have discussed we need two things one is factory overheads another one is total working life of machine and hours. Let us understand one by one each item. So factory overheads are basically divided into two items standing charges and machine expenses. Now what do you mean by standing charges? So standing as the name suggests are the fixed charges which are being incurred in the factory. So standing charges include all expenses that remain fixed or con constant and uh, which are related to the department as a whole. They do not affect the operations of a machine like it can be rent of factory, it can be insurance of machine. So it is not going to affect the operations but yet it is an important expenditure which is fixed in nature generally. Few examples are rent, rates, insurance of factory building, cost of factory supervisor, factory lightning and machine insurance. Next one is machine expenses. Machine expenses is also called as running expenses or variable charges that are included when the machine is operating. So it can be repairs of machine, maintenance of machine, power, steam, water which is being used in the machine. So if you look here children there is one item written which is depreciation. So for depreciation always remember if company has decided it is going to charge fixed depreciation per hour it will be a standing charge and if company is going to calculate it you know, on a variable basis taking that per hour depreciation will be calculated it will be a variable charge. Now when you are going to calculate the total working hours of a machine you need to remember about two things one is the machine ideal time second one is the machine setting time. So machine ideal time is not considered while calculating the total working life of machine whereas machine setting time is added. So let us look into an example, say for example total budgeted hours of a machine is 48 hours in a week, the machine is going to work for 48 hours. Ideal time is 4, 4 hours in a week and setting time is 2 hours daily. So what will be done? These 2 hours will be considered but you are not going to consider this 4 hours because it is ideal time. Ideal time means machine was not working. So if machine was not working you cannot charge an expense. So for ideal time will not be considered but this setting time of 2 hours daily will be considered. So 2 multiplied by 7 will give you 14 hours. So that 14 hours you are going to consider while calculating the total hours but this 
4 hours shall not be considered. Now let us understand it more deeply by an example. So the total factory overheads of a running machine is rupees 10,000 in August 2023 first week. So in the first week it has incurred an expense of rupees 10,000. Machine worked for 105 hours in a week including 5 hours of ideal time and 2 hours of setting time. Calculate machine hour rate. So now let us solve it. So for factory for machine hour rate we know the formula is factory overheads divided by working life in hours. We all know the total expenditure is rupees 10,000. So in the numerator I have taken 10,000. For denominator we have 105 hours which include 5 hours of ideal time that will be excluded. So I have done subtraction 105 minus 5 and 2 hours of setting time. For that 2 hours I have not done any calculation because question says including. So if it is including we are already supposed to include setting time. So setting time is not being subtracted. So I got the final question as 10,000 rupees divided by 100 hours. So the machine hour rate is rupees 100 per hour. Let's move further. If you get a lengthy question there is one format which is being given and you are supposed to solve the format according to this question. The format is very simple, it has just divided the total expenditure into two parts as we have already discussed, one being the standing charges, another being the running charges. So standing charges total you are going to do, you will divide it with total number of hours, you are going to get the per hour cost. Similar way you are going to add up all the running charges and you are going to divide it with total hours, you are going to get running charges per hour. Once you have the total you have the standing charges per hour and you have the running charges per hour, you are going to add it, you will get the machine hour rate. Let's move to one more question now, which says that the working life of a machine in a month is 150 hours, the cost of machine is rupees 15,000, estimated working life of machine is 15,000 hours. That means the amount which you have spent 15,000 shall be utilized for 15,000 hours. Generally the life of machine is given in years but when you are going to study the cost it is given in number of hours. Repair and maintenance of machine is rupees 120 in a month. Repair and maintenance is a running charge so I will write here running. In front of this also I will write depreciation which is again a running charge. Standing charges of the month is 300 per month so I will write standing S. Power used is rupees 5 per power used is 5 units per hour and per unit power rate is 10 pesa. This is again running charge so I am writing running charges. Let us quickly make the format. So in the format you are going to write particular, you are going to write amount and then you will get here per hour cost. So in the A part what you are going to write you will be writing standing charges. Standing charges given in the question is rupees 300 per month. So what I am going to write here 300. If I want to calculate per hour it will be 300 divided by 150 which amounts to 2 rupees. Next in the B part I am going to write running charges or machine charges or operating charges whatever I like. The first running charges that we have is depreciation, so I am going to write here depreciation. We all know by our past knowledge the formula of calculating depreciation is total cost of machine divided by the estimated working life, estimated working life either in the years or in the hours. In our question it is given in hours. So how I am going to calculate, I will simply write 15,000 rupees divided by 15,000 hours. So I'm going to get rupee 1. Next after depreciation we will be calculating repair and maintenance. For repair and maintenance it is 120 rupees in a month. So it will be rupees 120 divided by 150 hours which amounts to 0.80 pesa. Next one is power. If you read power properly it says that 5 units are used per hour. So for 1 hour we are going to use 5 units of energy and for every unit we are going to pay 10 pesa. So that means 1 hour cost of power is 5 multiplied by 
10 paisa which amounts to 50 paisa. So for power I will write 5 multiplied by 0 0.10 which amounts to rupees 50 paisa. I am going to add all this so I will get 2.3 in the last column I am going to write machine R rate which will be rupees 4.3. So this is how you are going to solve a question of machine R rate. I hope you really liked this video. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.